Hi, and welcome to question eight of the 2017 maths paper two, Leave the Cert Ordinary Level. Um, I'll get stuck in here now. It's um, a 10C question. Part A, given the coordinates of C are 4.50. So let's see there. We're asked then to identify find from the diagram, write down the coordinates of A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so let's so we'll get ready. And Basically, as we all know, the first coordinate is an X, okay, comma, Y. So even writing that will identify you know that, okay. So we're looking for A first, so the X value there is, now if you look, be careful, each box is representing 1, okay, so they're not all uh, labelled. So that's halfway between 0 and 2, so it's 1, 1 on the X. And then you go for the Y value, is minus 2, okay. So you keep going that vein, so it would be, if you drop down along that line there, it'd be 4, and the y value there would be 2. If we go to d, that's 6 on the x minus 6 on the y, so 6 minus 6, and last but not least, e there would be between 14 and 16 is 15, and then 6 on the y axis. Okay, so if you know your Quran geometry, that easy peasy, 10 marks. That's just the answer, it's just on there in text. So B, this says, show using slopes. That's important. So first thing I might write down there is slope, and then we often call it M, is equal to the rise over the run. Okay, now you can write that in coordinate form. It's the normal slope form that people probably recognize more. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Just the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. So if we look here, uh, looking for the slopes of the line segments a, b, and d. So that's a, b there, and that's d here. They look parallel. Well, we'll see if their slopes are equal. They're parallel. So in one sense, if you you could do this using slope formula and find the slope of that segment there using the coordinates 4, 2, and 1, minus 2. Or we could do it this other way, just dropping down, creating the triangle. Okay, so the difference in the... Let's go put it out here. The difference in the, the rise there, the y values, is between 2 and minus 2, so it's 4, over the difference in the x values is... 4, 1 is 3. So the slope of DE then would be, you know, could create any any triangle will work created on that line. We could just use the entire triangle there. Okay, now let's use the line. That's supposed to be a straight line, and so is that. So that's the difference there of 6 and minus 6 is so 12 units. Divided by, you go across here, that's 15 as far as 6. So 15 take away 6 is 9. Now that's the fraction 12 over 9, so they look different, but if you simplify by looking what number will divide into 12 evenly and 9, and 9 evenly, that'll be 3. So 3 to 12 goes 4 times, 3 into 9 goes 3 times. So they are, no, it's not asked here, I'm oh, sorry, it is asked here, that they're parallel. Since the slopes are equal to parallel, if the slopes um, are perpendicular, turn one slope upside down and change the sign, or use the formula m1 times m2 equals minus 1. This seems to be done there, so um, the next here is have the, the slope of AB using rise over run, slope of D using rise over run, and they are equal to the parallel. Now part C, part 1 here, so it's a 5C, uh, it's to show that the area of the triangle CBA is 4 square units. Now, I draw the diagram here, but if we go back here to the triangle CBA, basically is that triangle I'm shading in there. Is that for equal to um, four units? Now, there's no, f we, f the obvious formula here to use would be half base by height, but it's not right angle triangle. And I've seen when, from when marking it, some students dropped this down here and found the cutoff point, okay? Um, but the simpler way would to use the formula um, half x1, y2, Let's go here just to get the formula. It's in the math tables. Okay, so half of the absolute value of x1 times y2 take away x2 times y1. 
Now, this formula only works if one of the points of the triangle is on 0, 0. If you move one point to 0, 0, the other points have to move the same distance. So I've done it there. I've moved the vertice A 1 minus 2 to 0, 0. So the change there of 1 on the x, to you taking 1 away from the x, adding 2 to the y. So to, if that trend holds true, you need to take 1 away from the x value on the next vertice is 4, 2. And I do that and get 3. Uh, add 2, so 2 plus 2 is 4. Exact same thing for the third vertice is 4 and a half and 0. So add 1, or sorry, take away 1, gives you 3 and a half. Add 2, gives you plus 2. So these are the two points I use then in the formula. They represent the x1, y1 value in the formula and the x2, y2 value in the formula. I've substituted them in brackets. Okay, it should, it's always good practice to do that. And that then, my next step is obvious, remove brackets. So three times two is six. Actually, I just use the calculator here. I just put the whole thing to the calculator. I came up with negative eight. So half times negative eight is now, here's where the absolute value bars come into play. And they turn that positive, so half times eight is four. That's square units. Job done. Now the next part there says find the length of AB, the distance from A to B. Okay, so I could use the coordinates uh, A and B there. Okay, uh, in order to find the use the distance formula, square root of x two minus x one squared plus y two minus y one squared. Or what I've done here is use Pythagoras' theorem. I think. Okay, so. Um, it's four squared. Go back to the diagram. Four squared. Uh, let's see. Yeah, four. Four. What's that squared? Plus three squared. Just quite good here. Okay, just copy I've done. So, and actually, I think the way I've done it using Pythagoras' theorem is I've taken this triangle here. I know that that's the difference of three units, and that's. Four four units there. If I use Pythagoras here, I can find the hypotenuse, which is that the line AB. And again, I could use the distance formula. So that's the f one side squared plus the other side squared. Um, I put that to the calculator, I get five units. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now go back to what I'm saying by, by using the distance formula is the one for coordinates. Just use the coordinates that would be probably the most standard way of doing it. There isn't much space given in the question. And I know from marking it, there was like a mix mix of, of how it was done. So we have part three here, we have the triangle CDE is an enlargement of the triangle CBA. Given that the length of DE is 15 units, find the scale factor of the enlargement. So I'll just go back to my diagram here. Okay, it's probably a bit messy. So I'm going to erase all the ink here. So we're trying to see is the, actually we're trying to see, the DE, so DE, that's 15 units, whatever, that's what they're saying. And the scale of enlargement from, what was it? Um, find the scale factor of the enlargement. Okay, so we now know, we know that the, what was being enlarged is four up to 15. So we're looking for the scale factor there. Now, the length of AB, which was actually five, I'm just going to point out AB again just to make sure we're clear on it. That's AB there. We just calculated that was five units using the Pythagoras theorem. What's the scale factor here from, f from enlarging five up to 15? And there's the answer. So uh, your scale factor we're calling K. So five times K equals 15. And you're solving for K, bring the five across, becomes divided. And your scale factor is three. It then says, part four, use the scale factor to find the area of the triangle CDE. Okay. Now, where the area of CBA, okay, we calculated area was, we proved was four square units. Okay, and CBA is the smaller of the, of the two triangles. And we're looking here at using this, it's basically a formula. Um, I suppose so, technically, I suppose so is this. These two things, in one sense, need to be memorized. They're not given in the math tables. So the area of the enlargement is equal to the area of the original times the scale factor squared. That's the important thing, squared. Now this was answered pretty poorly uh, in the scripts that I marked. So it's obviously something that maybe as a you know whole, you know, judging from my scripts, need to just focus on. Okay, so I've seen it come up 
you know, the last few years as well, so it would be expected to go up in some form. And the area there is the area the original is four times three to the power two. The little ceiling is four times nine, which is twenty six square units. Easy if you know the formula, but you know, it's hard to get full marks without. Okay, it's question eight. Um thanks for your time and see you on question nine.